for you to our <laughs> basement gym. How I, why did I change it? Uh, due to the lockdown and pandemic and what happened to me last year, I tried to do something, something to do something here in the house while I'm up for a year. So this is my basement now, much different from before. <coughs> Some would say it's much nicer than the first uh, change, but I prefer this one so there's more space on the base punching bag and everything so we could train and exercise here as you've seen in the past yeah Audrey yeah and there this is the collection of all the cameras I bought some were given to me yeah these are collections that this a few of these are given to me by my friends this was my first very digital camera 1.3 megapixel back in the Philippines. This is the first digital camera I had in 2001. Then my parents sent me this one. Uh, it was a 2 megapixel. <laughs> then they gave me as a wedding gift a 5 megapixel Sony. Then also, while I was doing photography back in the Philippines on film, I was using a Nikon F60. Then this was given to me by a friend before they left to the UK. Uh, uh, Pronia is a different version of no Nikon. Bought this in, I forgot this now, a second hand shop. And this is my old D300S, gave up. This is my, my first one was a D70 digital camera. So these are my collections. I still have a few in, up, up, upstairs, but I have no place to put it. Hi! Hello! So this is my slash gym slash studio. We got two soap box here. And we have a background here. We got a few setup of lights later. I'll show you there. But these two main soap box. Their red lights are they're cheaper. Uh, they're continuous light. I know some would say ah, it's not a good I prefer the strobe but I rather pick the LED light. It's much better so it's two soft box background I could change backgrounds I got loads here now most of the lightings I have in the past is a collection of things I bought uh, for the past 10 12 years living in the UK <coughs> so this is my assistant little Audrey yeah this is my background so uh, that LED light you can remove it anytime when you're doing photo shoots because it's quite small area unless she's taller than me I could do a photo shoot a bit of editing up here would we'll make it white or black but the space is big it's been measured so you can do some sitting down a model to sit down to stand up a bit if she's not that tall I'm five foot eight so more than this, she might end up sitting down, lying down, something like that. So hopefully in the coming months, I will have my model shoot here again. And hopefully things goes well after that and see how it goes. Ah, assistant, come over here. You're my best assistant. Eh? Peace out. Eh? Peace. Okay, let's go. Hello, Abby. Yeah. Where are you, sister? Come over here. So, this is my ring flash, ring light, which is for close up, portraits, uh, to be much better. These are my two old lights, my strobe, which is, I still have connections and everything with it. Uh, this is reflector, actually, this is a very useful one, because this one is for going down. Rather than I buy a reflector which is quite expensive, I managed to DIY my old reflectors and put it like this. Put it in a more of a tripod like that and it reflects. Audrey, stand up there. Tony, you're my model today. Just stand up there. There you go, so you can see. 
the brightness of the person look look up a bit there you go that's the smile wipe your mouth eh. wipe your mouth wipe your mouth there you go look up again nice smile yeah see the brightness that you see underneath there you go so uh studio background the side studio backgrounds monopod tripods as you can see background 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 tripod uh, other softbox reflectors uh, clips everything trigger flash everything that you could see there I uh, managed to squeeze it in one place so there you go my books my old school books for photography there you go so I also maximize this space for one good reason Hi Audrey. To so we go around. You will see hi Audrey. So maximize this as where I do my food photography and food photography. Hi Audrey, say hi. Where I leave the reflector there, my food photography. So another soapbox of my another LED light. May I have backgrounds there. I got backgrounds underneath the table. And there's a screen there, which I use as my, uh, you've seen it already in one photo shoot I did, which is uh, to use as a more bigger screen for, for example, a model shoot that I have an idea. So there you go. So as for food photography, so if my friends are already in the coming months are okay, this is where they could do food photography at the same time they, we can do model shoot on this side <clears throat> there you go and this is my gym now half of the basement gym and my small bar so wanna say anything Audrey? say bye see you all soon